There are millions bracing this morning as well because Tropical Storm Nate strengthening in the Caribbean right now, heading right towards the Gulf Coast. And states of emergency that have already been declared in Louisiana, Alabama, and Florida. And the storm is forecast to become a hurricane before it makes landfall this weekend. It's already deadly, claiming at least 22 lives across Central America. Our chief meteorologist, Ginger Z, of course, tracking it all. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning to you, George. We're watching Nate right now just south and east of the Yucatan Peninsula, but it is moving fast. At 14 miles per hour, it'll cook to the north and northwest. We'll put the path on here for you just to give you an idea of what's happening. That hurricane watch includes Cancun and Cozumel. That's for tonight through early tomorrow. Because it's moving so fast, it goes into the Gulf, and by tomorrow night, that's when the effects start to be felt along the Gulf Coast. New Orleans, Biloxi, Gulfport, Mobile, over to Pensacola, all in the watches and advisories. The impacts are huge here. Four to eight feet of storm surge up to a foot of rain. And that's why we're most concerned, especially in New Orleans, where Steve Osinsami is this morning. Uh, good morning to you, Ginger. There is, of course, that talk that this city could see up to a foot of rain all at once. And that has all eyes in this city on these, the drainage pumps that keep this city dry. Believe it or not, this one is actually working, but there are a dozen of these pumps across this city that are not, and three of them are considered major. The storm that's coming is already catastrophic. Nearly two dozen people are dead this morning in Central America after roads and homes were flooded. In some areas, they're expecting nearly 30 inches of rain. In Florida, Louisiana, and Alabama, city and state officials are already declaring a state of emergency this morning. There is potential for this storm to intensify very quickly. Families sick and tired of these terrible storms this hurricane season have to get it together again, clearing store shelves of water and other supplies. It's hard to imagine it's another storm right now. We all have to be prepared. In the Louisiana bayous, not protected by levees, they're under a mandatory evacuation this morning. You need to be where you want to be by dark on Saturday. They're going to start giving sandbags to families today. They're going to be available at local fire stations. Back to you guys in New York. All right, Steve, thanks.